So yes, I'm Jessica, I'm an introvert, and I want to share with you my experiences of the, uh, I made at five WordCamps so far. So uh, let's start, what is an introvert? An introvert is, uh, as an introvert, you enjoy having time with yourself. Uh, it often comes along with diving into another world, like reading a book that you really get into and forget everything around, uh, around it or watching a movie or watching TV series. Or it can be also coding a website, getting into WordPress core, a plugin or a theme, how it works. Um, you prefer written conversations over face-to-face -face conversations or uh, using a telephone. You better write on Twitter or an email instead of going up to the person and say, hi, I am Jessica. Um, Small talk is something you better want to avoid, but you sometimes you just can't avoid it. Um, but if there's a topic uh, you really, really like and there's so much you can talk about, you talk about it, like I do now. Um, other people describe you often as very quiet, um, reserved and even shy. But the thing is, uh, shyness is not introversion. They are two different things. Shyness is the fear of negative judgment. Um, you think a lot. Uh, from the moment you wake up to the moment you sleep in, you think about everything. For me, it's mostly, um, so when I wake up, what's going on, which day is it, what's going on today, what I have to do, is there any deadlines, what I have to do at work, what I have to do at home and all that stuff. And, and you get exhausted really quickly when there's too much stimulation, like too, uh, too many people, too much noise, too much new uh, uh, locations, surroundings, like a WordCamp or any other conference. Um, so how do you survive on a conference as an introvert? Uh, the, the main thing is get enough rest, uh, get time off, make breaks, and recharge. Um, <clears throat> it already starts before you get there. So come a day early, uh, get to know the city, get to know where there's the location, and maybe if you can get in the location, take a look around there. Um, and don't stress yourself of being late. So when I have to rush and being stressed, and it's all, wow, oh, I, I hate that, really. So I uh, really like to be uh, early here. When you are at the conference, again, take time off. Uh, don't try to visit every, um, every session. So leave for some, some out. Um, because at WordCamps, at least, almost every session gets recorded and is available later online. Um, so you can watch it afterwards. Um, also, try to find a quiet spot for you uh, to get away from all that noise. If you can't find any, there's at least one uh, location where you always can go to. It's the restrooms. That sounds funny, but this works. Um, and after conference day, so the conference is over, and often people uh, get around, hey, let's go uh, out to a, a restaurant, get something to eat or so. Um, also take a break from this. You don't have to be at every party, but you can go, of course. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's also okay if you leave early then to get enough sleep and rest. And uh, most people will understand that if you uh, go, want to go early uh, to get rest, but if they don't, just don't care about those people because they don't understand. Um, yesterday I stayed in the hotel for the entire evening. I didn't meet up with anyone else. I was just alone there and, well, of course, preparing my talk. Um, Make a schedule uh, which talks you want to attend and where your breaks are. Um, and in these breaks, do whatever uh, is best to you for recharging. Take a walk, read a book, listen to music, do a meditation, whatever. 
Um, <clears throat> but some of you may now say, but there are people, people everywhere. Uh, don't worry, you don't need to introduce yourself to everyone um, and have a small talk with them. If you're completely new and don't know anyone, go and become a volunteer. It's the easiest thing to get to know people and you have to do something. You're just not standing around and doing nothing. And this also helps you to get more into uh, the community and uh, get to know people. So if you know uh, a person or two already and uh, you get along well with, this is really great and stay together with them and maybe they know uh, other persons you might be interested in talking to. So it's, for an introvert, it's really easy, well, it's easier to, um, to get into conversation when someone else is starting it off. off. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you want to have a conversation with a speaker or an interesting person, get in touch with them before. So write them a tweet, hey, interesting topic, or whatever, just start off. Maybe they will respond to you. And when you are at a conference, uh, go and uh, go up to the person after the talk and say, hi, we talked earlier about Twitter. And then you start off the conversation. Uh, and last, if you want to speak to people but, but don't know whom to exactly, become a speaker. Because after the talk, people will come to you and will speak to you um, about the topic. So in really short, prepare yourself for work camp. And uh, so where can I find a kite spot? Which talks should I attend? Do I want to speak to someone in particular? And um, you can check everything before because the speakers are online, the list of attendees is online and networking opportunities and so on and where the location is. Also set goals and just prepare to reach those. So that's it. Surviving a conference or a WordCamp as an introvert. Thank you. Thank you very much.